pia ningependa kutoa onyo kuhusu mambo ya hate speech hubiri amani peana sera zako lakini ukianza ku, kuhubiri mambo ya hate speech tuko na officers ambazo wako undercover kwa ground na they are monitoring and we shall take a stiff action concerning that the other issue ningependa kuhimiza hawa campaigners ni kwamba wakati wanafanya road show Eh, wakati mwingi sana tunakuwa na, na traffic snarlap Wajaribu wakifika kwa center Wajaribu kwenda kando kwenye market Ili wa, waruhusu free flow of traffic Na eh, ningependa kuhimiza wale politicians Ambao sasa sasa hii ni candidates eh, Kwamba masa, wa, waangalie masaa ya campaign Campaign period inaanza saa 12 asubuhi hadi saa 12 jioni. Kufanya campaign usiku hiyo ni hatia na kama mtapatikana mkifanya hivyo utachukuliwa hatua. Nimesema tu kwamba sisi kama viongozi our followers watafanya vile wanaona tukifanya. We are being hateful tunatumia lugha mbaya ama ya kutukanana wao pia wataendelea hivyo hivyo hivyo. So it's upon us kama leaders to enforce peace and the peace starts with us. Since we are here, we are going to peaceful elections and we are going to fujo. This is the social media. And the people who are going to be here are going to be the whole country. Upper Kisi is no exception. The social media army that has been mobilized by politicians needs to be checked. And they need to be reminded that there is a law. And this law affects and touches on everybody. I think it's for upon us leaders kufanya tu moderation not to bring uh, false accusations against people ama kutukanana ila tu tutumie hiyo forum kuuza sera zetu ha kwa hivyo nimesema kwamba investigative agencies wakue macho wakue alert wakiona wale ambao wanaweneza uvumi unfounded rumors wachukulia hatua we should give the investigative agencies time and the space wafanye uchunguzi wao na nimewahimiza kwamba pia wakimaliza uchunguzi it's important whenever it's possible watuambie vile wamepata ndio hii mauvumi hii uvumi inakuja na siasa because of misinformation ikwishe